what is biblical healing? So we, we're talking about healing today from a biblical perspective. I mean, healing can be defined as uh, many, in many different ways, but I think the best way uh, biblically is that we're restored to, to a whole, that we're made whole, whether it's through Christ Jesus taking our sins in the great book of John 3.16, which declares, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So a lot of people think this healing is of the body. Yeah, you can be healed from cancer and paralysis, but for a Christian, if you really look at the totality and what Christ really meant to the whole uh, mankind, it was that he took away our sins. So the first healing can be described as Jesus taking away our sins and in that he was able to redeem us and give us the greatest gift which is eternal life. So again, sin, a lot of people don't really think of sin as hidden again, but actually for all the things that mankind can come to, to fruition in is to be reconciled back to Christ Jesus. So uh, healing is to be restored to um, a true, a real condition and then to be made whole. The next type of healing is going to be what we call physical healing. Um, I used to be blind for 11 years and through my mother's prayers and God's mercy and grace, God healed me through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the power of prayer. So in the great book of Isaiah 53 and 5, it declares this, that when he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. He said the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with our stripes, amen, by our stripes, we were here. So when Jesus died on the cross, he did so many miraculous things. According to Psalm 103, which declares, forget not all his benefits. He who forgiveth our iniquities, as we just said, sin, who healed thy diseases. Not only the physical diseases that you may be paralyzed or blind like I was, and I was also paralyzed, but also, I mean, even when you have depression, anxiety, bipolar, what he did on the cross released mankind from the stigma of sin and suffering. Amen. So when he rose on that third day, that Sunday morning, he took away man's sin nature if they would give it to him through repentance, through living right. He gave us a right to be reconciled back to God through Christ Jesus. And so when I was paralyzed, amen, the same process through consistent prayer of my mother intercession and God's peace and joy, I was able to come out of the wheelchair. And God healed me, amen, when I was in an accident. So many times I can portray, I tell you, by the time the Lord has healed me, after 35 years of chronic asthma, fighting death constantly, and in our ministry, we've seen so many cases where God's mercy and grace uh, is applied to human beings. We've had people in wheelchairs constantly all over this nation, people who were blind, amen, people who uh, had diabetes, amen, heart trouble, amen, chronic pain where they couldn't stand, many types of bone cancers, all kinds of circumstances, depressed, bipolar, suicidal. And it's through the power of the Holy Spirit, which is in Christ Jesus. But we're specifically talking about healing. Healing is physical, it's spiritual, amen, and it's emotional. Whether you need to be saved, amen, that's, that's again the most important part, that your sin is taken away and you've been redeemed if you receive the gift of eternal life, which is given, amen, only through Christ Jesus. And so the greatest healing, again, is healing from sickness, redemption, amen. And like I was saying so many times in my life, being blind, being paralyzed, chronic asthma, a heart attack, just all the things I've been through, I can tell you 100% that Jesus Christ is a healer. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you could ever ask. Because his desire is his word. If you go to the great book, Amen, of Luke 9, when it's a beautiful um, message, the inspiration that Christ gives us according to his mercy, which is abundant. I love it because it, it tells us who we are. Luke 9, 1 declares this. He called his disciples. Now, I want to put this uh, very simply. Once you become a son or daughter of God, once you're baptized and once you receive Christ, and you follow his teachings and his ways. In that moment, you become a disciple. And this is very important. He said he called his disciples and gave them what? Power and authority over all devils and to heal sickness. And so once you become born again and feel, 
One of the great gifts of the Holy Spirit beyond salvation is the gift of healing. And yet, with that gift, you can affect people's lives, the eternal destination, and their peace and joy. So not only um, the physical healing with the body, with the I can tell you hundreds of thousands of miracles this ministry has seen. Look, personally, I will make this statement. I've never healed anyone, but through the power of Christ Jesus, the Holy Spirit, we've seen God's word manifest. Not only that in depression, you should be depressed, suicidal. God healed me from that in 2004 after my mother's death. And since then, on our prayer and crisis line all over the globe, even in prayer, we've seen hundreds of thousands of cases of people with depression, suicide. They want to die. But through the same healing power, amen, of the Holy Spirit, which in Christ Jesus, God is able to sustain, amen, people and clear out all the strongholds of the mind. Because Ephesians 6 12 declares this. The human beings we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. But the, there's one thing that can heal everything. It's the blood. Revelation 12, 11 said we're overcome by testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. Now, whose testimony, whose blood? By Jesus' blood that he shed on the cross. In that, again, once he did that, he defeated death. He gave man's, man redemption and power. And so when we plead the blood of Jesus over sickness, disease, it has to get away. It has to leave. Why? Because there's power in the name of Jesus Christ. He loved to heal people. Amen. And one of my favorite scriptures is in the great book of Exodus. It's a beautiful um, scripture because it tells you again who you are, who God is, and what his desire for you to do. It is said, I am. Now we know in the scripture that one of, one of um, the names that the Lord told Moses, amen, once he had sent him, where well, he was telling him to go to Pharaoh and to tell him to let his people, which is Israel, free. He, he basically told him what to do. And at the end, he hadn't told Moses his name. And Moses said, what, who should I tell sent me? He just said, said I am. Well, basically what he was saying is, you don't need to know. You just go. So, you know, he said, I am the Lord God, the healer. Thee. In that, I get that God said by faith. He said, a just should live by faith. If he said he can heal you, sometimes it simply comes down to do you believe. Now, the Bible does say some things only come through fasting and prayer. If you got something really difficult that you're going through in healing with your cancer, we have to fast, we have to get into God's word. But at that moment, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ever ask. And in Psalm 51, it says, who report are you going to believe, even in my circumstance? In other videos and teaching, we'll go in more in depth about how you can acquire the Holy Spirit, which we've done videos, but how you can walk and heal it. But right now, we just want to tell you that he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever do. I mean, I can tell you so many times he's, he has turned my life around and given me a second, a third, how about 5,000 chances. But Jesus Christ is a healer. And he is able to do things which uh, transcends understanding. And we're talking about miracles. We're going to get into that. Miracle, a miracle is something that man can't do. It's by divine um, uh, privilege that only God can manifest through his power, which is what the Holy Ghost power. So uh, the scriptures are very important to know healing scriptures. Why? Because when you pray the scripture, you pray in the will of God. We've been taught that the word the word is God's will. Amen. And his will is his word. And how you going to really understand not only healing, but how to be um, restored is to know God's word. And so any time that you're suffering from pain or brokenness, you can go to any of these scriptures. In that, you know, um, in the great book of Isaiah 10, 27, it declares this, that the anointing destroyed the yoke. A lot of people really don't understand this. The Bible says Jesus Christ in the land, in the Hebrew, is the anointed one. And the very reason he came again was to take away your sins, your sickness, your disease, your oppressions. The Bible says he is the anointed one. He's manifest to take away uh, the sins, uh, destroy, destroy the works of the devil, and to bring man back into reconciliation with God. The only way to get to God is through Christ Jesus. And so we call him the reconciler. Why? Because through him we're able to 
get to Christ, God. Amen. So we have to realize who he is, who we are. And in that, we'll know that we need healing. If you're suffering today, and if you need a miracle, you need to be healed. You can start the word of God. But I would like you to say this prayer with me tonight. Even though I'm speaking the prayer, you can come back and say it. But I want you to first repent. Say, Lord, I repent of all my sins. Father God, in Jesus' name, I bind up any sickness or pain in my body, according to Exodus 15, 26, and I lose healing and deliverance upon me, upon the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm here in Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer tonight, and if you hear this message, imagine the Holy Spirit. What are you going through right now? If you're going through pains in your chest or body, if you hear this message, imagine that the Holy Spirit will hear you. There may be some right now, you have a headache, or you have whatever it may be. I'm speaking a word of you right now, that this same word, all of the nations of the world, as I speak this to the Holy Ghost, I bind up sickness, I bind up infirmity, depression, anxiety, uh, COVID, whatever it may be. And I speak over your life tonight in Jesus' name that you heal and you deliver. So if you live this message, remember, Jesus loves you, he can hear you, and so be encouraged.